Give the brethren a chance to do something, anything, no matter how small or unimportant. A brother convinced that he is helpful is enthusiastic. Carl H. Claudie Tips for Memorizing the Rituals Before memorizing any part of the ritual or a lecture. 1. Learn to read the ritual or lecture fluently without hesitating. 2. Check with one who knows the lecture or ritual to be sure you are not mistaken in your choice of words. If a wrong word is learned, habit makes it difficult to correct the situation, even though the mistake is eventually recognized. 3. Check the dictionary to learn meanings and pronunciations of unfamiliar words. 4. Learn the full meaning of any strange sentences. Check with one who knows the ritual or lecture for explanations of the meaning and symbolism of unfamiliar phrases and sentences. It is difficult to memorize words and sentences that have no meaning to you. 5. Decide how each sentence should sentence when read or recited aloud. Decide where voice inflection should occur and where emphasis should be placed. Always read the sentence in the same way, never deviating from what you have once established to be the proper way to do it. 6. Read and reread the ritual or lecture many times until you are thoroughly familiar with it. 7. Practice, with the cipher closed, writing in proper order all of the subjects discussed in the lecture, and then check with the ritual or lecture to determine what you have omitted or misplaced. In delivering the lecture you will always have to know what cues next. 8. Inspect the slides or lecture charts and acquaint yourself with where they fit into the lecture, however, do not become dependent upon them. 9. Use every opportunity to hear others deliver the lecture or ritual. Make a mental note of what you do and do not like about the way they have given it. 10. Understand that these steps are to be taken before memorizing anything and are as important as the actual job of memorizing, and will require as much of your time as the job of memorizing the lines. These first hints are very important because the more familiar you are with the lecture, the easier will be the job of memorizing it. Do not be impatient to start memorizing. To memorize the ritual or a lecture. 1. Learn it paragraph by paragraph, do not attempt to learn too much at any one time. 2. Concentrate on the lecture. Try to be along, if possible, without distractions from family, television, etc. Keep your mind on the ritual or lecture. 3. Take sections in the proper sequence, do not skip around in learning different sections. 4. Spend as much or more time in reviewing material already learned, as in learning new sections of the ritual. Refuse to learn anything new unless you are fairly confident of your ability to deliver what you have already learned. 5. Practice what you have already learned during odd moments. For example, recite while driving your car, riding a tractor, walking. You will be surprised at the benefit derived from the odd moments which would otherwise be wasted. 6. Always recite your lines in the same manner never changing voice inflections or emphasis once you have decided how they ought to be done. So, prize how, and what, you say. 7. Some prefer to recite aloud when practicing, others prefer the silent method. Most prefer the former, but do what is easier for you. If reciting silently, always concentrate on what you hear in your own mind what the sentences sound like. 8. Strive for perfection. Only by trying are we able to limit our mistakes to a relatively small number. 9. As we are told in the third degree lecture, time, patience, and perseverance will accomplish all things. Some can learn a lecture or ritual with less effort than others, but all can learn it if enough interest and determination is shown. When discouraged, consider carefully the lecture of the beehive, as given in the third degree lecture. It will never fail to stimulate your efforts. When giving the lecture. 1. Always remember that primarily you are talking to the candidates, and the brethren about the lodge are overhearing your remarks. Talk to them in normal voice volume and in a natural tone of voice. Look at the candidates while speaking. 2. Do not let your mind wander to the hard part that comes later on in the lecture. Think only of what you have to say at the moment. 3. 
most of your lecture will be given in scene darkness because of projecting slides. Therefore, forget about your blushes and the sweat on your forehead. No one will see it. 4. Graciously accept the prompting, if needed, and go on without worrying or being embarrassed. 5. There should be a single prompter, perhaps the lodge ritual instructor. Have this person who knows the lecture sit near your lecture station and tell him not to prompt unless you signal for it. 6. Do not be bashful about insisting to the master that all lodge doors be kept closed while you are lecturing and that the tiler preserve quiet in his quarters. They owe you this courtesy. 7. Do not talk too slowly or too fast, your presentation should be clear and deliberate. 8. Do not try to keep up with the slides, let the slide man keep pace with you. 9. Get expression into the lecture as much as possible without assuming an unnatural tone of voice. 10. When you have given a good lecture, you will know the personal pride, satisfaction and enjoyment that goes with doing the job. That will be your wages for effort. Give the brethren a chance to do something, anything, no matter how small or unimportant. A brother convinced that he is helpful is enthusiastic. Thank you for watching Masonic Audiobook Library, subscribe and comment your thoughts.